Hey guys, Penguins Recordings here, and today I'm going to be showcasing how to install LEGO Racers in Ubuntu 12.10 using Play on Linux. First things first, make sure you have the latest version of Play on Linux, which is 4.2. At the very least, have version 4.1.8. It can be downloaded for free from their website. Alright, so first I have the files here. It's in an ISO format. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go with Open With and Disk Image Mounter. So here we have it on the left. Lego Racers. It's been detected. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to click Install. Install a non listed program at the bottom left. Give it a couple of seconds. Alright. Click Next. Install a program in a near, new virtual drive. Now I'm just going to call this LR Lego Racers, making it very simple since I already have the version I want to play at the back. Instead, I'm going to be making a new one just for this tutorial. LR Lego Racers. You can name it anything you want. Now we're going to click Use Another Version of Wine. We're going to be using the latest version of Wine for this. And I'm also going to configure Wine so I can put it into a windowed mode. Click Next. Now I'm going to scroll down to the versions of Wine that I have installed. 1.5.27 is the latest as of right now. If you do not have these versions available to you, then you first need to go to Tools and Manage Wine Versions. So in here, on the left, is all the Wine versions that are out that you can download. And on the right is all the wine versions that you already have installed. All right. So if you want to install one, you select it and then you click this arrow button right here and it will go to the right and you have it installed. All right. Let's get back with the installation. I have 1.5.27 selected. I click next. Now I click the 32 bits Windows installation and I click next. Regardless if your system is 32-bit or 64-bit, always use 32-bit wine. The 64-bit wine is unstable. Alright, it's going to configure wine. Give it a couple seconds before it starts up. This can take a bit longer for older systems. Okay, configure wine has been opened. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the Windows version to Windows 98. Lego Races is a very old game, so it's not going to work on new versions. Click Apply. Now I'm also going to go under Graphics and tick Emulate a Virtual Desktop. You do not have to do this if you don't want to, but I do. I want to do this. So I'm going to make the size slightly larger. I'm going to click Apply. OK. So automatically, Play on Linux has detected that the CD-ROM has been inserted. We're using an ISO file. So I simply click Next. All right. It takes the CD, no problem. Now follow through this installer just like you would in Windows. I click OK. Starts up. I click Next. Yes. Next. Yes. It only takes 210 MB. That's how old this game is. All games now take up gigabytes worth of uh, file space. So far so good, it's working right off the bat. Lego Races requires DX Media to run. Just click yes, even though this doesn't really work, it doesn't matter. It wants to install DirectX 6.1, that's okay, click yes again. Click next, and click finish. So the install is done, this should close. All right. Now it wants us to choose a shortcut. We want to make LEGO Races, the .exe file, the shortcut. So I click Next after I select it. I'm going to rename this to Tutorial since I'm not going to be keeping this version. I already have one, as you can see. So LEGO Races Tutorial, click Next. Alright, so we have that shortcut. I don't want to make another shortcut. Alright, click Next. Okay, we have it 
installed, but you can't play it just yet. First off, this is an old game. If you have the CD and you don't mind keeping the CD inside your CD-ROM drive, you can do that. But if you're like me and you dislike using the CD-ROM drive, we are going to use the No DVD Fix. So under the ISO, on the right here is the LEGO's installer directory. And on the left is the uh, the files for the LEGO racers. Now if you want the link to download this, I'll put it in the description below. Alright, so I'm going to copy this, LEGO Racers, and I'm going to paste it inside this folder. It's going to ask me, replace file LEGO Racers? Yes, replace. Okie dokie, now that's done, we can close that, and we can close that. So here we have it. One more thing before we can run it. We have to go to configure. And in here, under the arguments tab, we have to set dash no video. If you don't do this, the game will crash on startup because it's unable to play the movie scenes. I'll show you what I mean. We'll go without the arguments right now and we'll run it. Let's see the problem that we face. Unable to set message drain. That's the problem we first experience. But if we go to configure and we put no video, now it will work. Click run again. There we go, it works. But you might say, the resolution is so small, I can't play it like this. So if we want to make the resolution larger, what we can do is go back into configure, put a space, dash, horizontal res, and this will be the width of the screen, which I've set wine to 1600, so I want to put it to that. And then we can put the vertical res, vertical resolution, to 900. You can put whatever you want in there, but make sure that it's a real resolution in the real world. You can't put peculiar values. So we have 1600 by 900. I'm going to keep it at that. I'm going to run it once more. That's okay. It will give you an error the first time you change it. Run it once more again. And there you go. It works. The main menu will be on the top left because this is an old game. But if you go straight into a race, for example, I showcase this driver here, just the standard one. There you go. You can see that the race, racing part of the game is fine. You can even set it to full screen if you wanted to. So I'm going to exit this. So hopefully this helps you guys on how to install LEGO Racers using Play on Linux. And I hope you guys have fun. Thanks for watching.